Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of A Hat in Time. Last time we got to this level, which is giving me... I think I figured out how to explain it. Feelings of excitement and childlike wide-eyed wonder. Which feels very naive to explain in that way, but at the same time... That's the best way I can explain the feeling that I get from this place, and it's... Really, really good. And I want to see more of it. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to see more of this place. This is weird. And also this place is reminding me of a whole bunch of different games at once. And that little part right there just reminded me of one very particular spot in Metroid Prime. And nothing else. I don't... I don't want to compare this place to other games because that feels unfair. But they're all good feelings. And this place has something unique that seems to apparently be combining them all in just the right way to make me really, really like it. I was very excited for Subcom Forest and exploring it and seeing all that they stuffed into it. Oh dear me. <laughs> but then, there's places like this which are making me want to explore it for completely different reasons and it feels amazing. It's not anything super remarkable, it's not incredibly spectacular, it's just giving me this feeling of... Do I call it nostalgia? I don't know if that's right. But I just want more of it. And I don't know how much I'm going to get to explore this place before I'm going to call it the end of this batch of recordings. But I just really like it. Yeah, boom. There we go. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Thanks for the double. Also, there's a big old rainstorm outside right now, and I hope that it does not become a thunderstorm and knock out the power because I don't have a backup power supply. So if, every, if everything crashes... Oh dear. <laughs> Even the way she blows the horn just feels like something from way long ago. The media I don't remember. <sighs> this is just a great place. I like it a lot. There's a horn at the top. So there is. Uh, there's whoop whoop. <laughs> I'm okay, really. And we're back. And we're leaving. <laughs> Going this way now. Bye bye, y'all. Oh dear. I'm apparently not very good at this. That's fine. I wasn't good at it in Metroid Prime 3 either. Well, that's just spooky. There's probably something else down there, but I, I don't know. I can't control the camera, which is fine, because I have to do, I have to hold on to this and control the camera with the same thumb. Can I jump on you? You seem fine with it. He's a big guy. I wonder if he actually even feels it. Is that you, Hugo? Only one person in the world will ever understand that reference, I'm sure. So last time we saw something like that was like in the birdcage with the timepiece? Oh, frame rate. <laughs> oh. Huh. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be looking at there. Mm. All right, all right. Hey, whoa, that was rude. 
I guess I was warned, but still. Yeehaw! Here we go. Please don't collapse from under me. This looks special. Well, I would have gotten it here, I guess. But that probably tells me that we definitely need it here. Is that how I get back? Oh, that was all optional, wasn't it? I feel like this is going to send me back to the original spot. It doesn't. It's just facing the wrong way for it. Yep. I does. Game, you can't be doing this to me. I don't have time to play Crystal Chronicles. That doesn't sound awful. Unpleasant, sure, but not awful. I don't think you saw me. Or maybe I would have activated him. Okay, we gotta know, we gotta know. Where'd he go? I'm okay. <sighs> I did see him briefly, and then whenever... Okay. We'll figure it out. I've got plenty of money. I don't mind if he takes one or two. You need a beaten... What What was that? There. Time stop. Woohoo. <laughs> ain't dweller hat work, but you know what? It works. I kind of wonder now. What did you? Oh, oh, you. No, 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 no. This is fine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> All that was missing from that was a T pose. <laughs> I'm thinking of Gary's mod. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. So this place gave us some very <laughs> special experiences. <laughs> I'm just incredibly amused by all of that and I will be for the rest of the day, which is unfortunately not very long, but all the same. Oh, wow. Has, uh, uh, I know there's been a ton of people who have played this game by now, but... Is that something that happens often? Oh, here we go. I don't even... I wasn't even paying attention when I blew the horn. What did I unlock? Is there an alternate path over there somewhere? That's the red one. So I need to get all the way back to whatever that red path is. Okay. I hope. I hope that's what it was. Oh no. I really hope that's what it was. Wait, you want me to go back there? I thought for sure I unlocked something on the red path. Hold on. Oh, this is probably it. Yeah, this makes much more sense. Alright, sorry about that. That was my bad. Did I just pass another goat on the left? He looked very disinterested, but also watching because he had nothing better to do. Oh no. The windmill! Now you're making me think of Fable. The second one, specifically, with the music box. Okay, okay. Here we go. Alright, now I'm thinking of Twilight Princess again. That's great. Same level, though. So I'll give that only half a point. Oh, wow. 
I look forward to <laughs> seeing what I think about this place. Hi again, do you have anything new yet? You do not. I guess I can just buy this stuff and have it done with. Actually, yeah, this is the one I was thinking of earlier. Because there's that cooldown when you're... When, after you use the hat, so I'm thinking like for the race that we're eventually going to do, having this one with a time stop badge would be pretty cool. Not everything I. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, that didn't automatically equip my. Yeah, it did. Okay. What was I? Probably this one. I feel like I've got a really good combination of badges. Okay, this is absolutely not the game I should be reminded of, but it's Conker's Bad for a Day. There's just a part in a barn that this reminds me of. Sure, it could be any barn in any game. Why is it Conker's Bad for a Day? Probably because of the graphics. Well, now it's reminding me of something else, and I don't know what it is. Good, 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 yep. Yeah. I wasn't expecting to be able to land on that pole on my first attempt, but I did, and I'm surprised. Alright, that was dumb. Oh, thank you, there's an easy spot right up over here. English. Much better, okay. <laughs> I don't know how to use my legs. Oh, thank you for that. You know what? I should have time stopped that. Okay, okay. Here we go. The merry-go-round broke down and made an awful sound. Now I'm thinking of Bioshock. This is going on way too often, and I don't know why. I'm not sure if I even like it anymore. I'm just... I was amused, now I'm concerned. Why am I reminded of so many games while playing this game? I'm just going to assume that's, uh... Brewing yarn. I can't assume. I have to go get it. I'm sorry. Hold on. Why? Whoa. whoa. Excuse me! Excuse me! Game. You should know better than this. Why are you doing this? Okay, look. If I get all the way over here... They don't want me to go back. Alright, fine. We won't go back. Game. It's very rude of you. If I want to go back, I can go back. If I'm deliberately going back and making falls that I shouldn't take damage, and I have the badge equipped that doesn't let me take any damage from falls, I get it. They're trying to be accommodating, but at the same time, guys, let me make choices. I don't know. It, it's a very difficult balance right there, because if you fall, you very likely did not do so intentionally. But at the same time, honestly, that yarn, not a lot of people are going to recognize that it's there or know that they should go for it until after they're already up at the top. And I could go all the way back, I know that. I did briefly think about it, but I'm so certain that it's brewing yarn that I don't want to go back for it. I'm just convinced of it to the point where I don't need I don't need to go back. I really don't. I don't need it. But if you're not going to notice it until you get to that point, there should be a way to easily get to it. And just dropping down, I have the badge equipped. I know I keep repeating that, but still, game. That's why you gave it to me was to not take any freaking damage. I don't know if it's good game design that they hit it so well, but 
That was kind of bad of them. Very unhappy about it. I feel like that should have been thought out a lot better. But I'm not in game design, so... I'm gonna try to let it go. Maybe I'm not the only one, though. Maybe other people are gonna complain about it. Or they'll just tell me I'm stupid and wrong, and I, I, I have no idea. Bye. Okay. This one, I don't mind going all the way back. Okay, so I did use the, right, the correct one first. I was wondering, what if you do them in the wrong order? And the camera is uncooperative. Hmm. How to do? Okay, I tried to do a double jump after I jumped over the edge there and it was not having it. No, can't pull back after I go into a slide. Great. This does not bode well. Did I leave health back here? No, because I needed it all. For dropping to my death so that I could have more health whenever I started dropping to my death. Wait a second. Wait a second, wait a second. Come on, guys, reset, 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 reset. Not resetting, darn it. I have an idea, and it would be great and very clever, and I'm very proud of myself for thinking of it, but now I can't do it. Can I land on this? Shoot! I could, briefly. And I overshot. After loading back in, I have no idea where I am. Not a great start. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna keep telling myself that it's fine, even though I don't feel like it's fine. I'm not frustrated at the game. Probably seems that way. I'm not. I promise. Just need to get over here. We can get some other yarn that looks like sprint yarn. More time stop yarn. Did not look like that color, but okay, sure. And was that... No, that was, that was a different yarn. That was a different yarn. And I noticed it when I loaded in, so it's fine. Where the heck am I? Oh. I actually don't have to move the control stick when I'm doing all that. That's good to know. Oh, great. Well... Thanks, game. At least I didn't have to waste more health. Yeah, that, that wasn't worth wasting health for to save more time. We're all on the same platform. Just don't worry about it. Now I'm thinking of the TikTok clock from Mario Kart 8. Yeah, I know it's from Mario Kart 64, but that's not what it made me think of. I'm thinking of those big old gears that turn around. Didn't do time stop that time. I thought of it, and then I jumped without doing it. <laughs> okay, okay, so, my idea, my idea. I feel that this is a very clever idea. Bear with me. Okay, okay, <laughs> it goes under. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get pushed off, and I'm gonna fall to my death again, it's gonna be grand. No, it's fine, it's fine. I don't have to worry. So I should quit worrying. I need to quit worrying. I can do this. It's fine. It's more difficult than what we've experienced so far, but that's fine. The difficulty curve is a good thing to have in video games. Unless you're Kirby, apparently. And it's just a spike right at the end of the game where you have to beat all the bosses at once. And oh, now there's two secret bosses at once. However, however it goes. Anyway. 
The game's supposed to get more difficult. I have not thought of it as getting more difficult. Should probably acknowledge that and keep going. Okay, I'm gonna have to do Death Wish eventually, and that's gonna be a, a thing. But I have a plan for that. Like an overall plan. I'm not I'm not gonna say anything more than that. I'm just gonna make you guess and wonder at what I could possibly be thinking. Going this way. Why am I, what? Uh. All right. Yeehaw. I think I double jumped as soon as I let go of the Y button. I need to recognize that. How about some time stop? Let's get the time stop. Here we go. Right up on here, it gives me time to look around and then jump to where I need to go. Hallelujah, that worked out great. I saw a spider fluid back there, and I got lucky. That, that's the only way I can acknowledge what happened back there was I got lucky. Thank you for the checkpoint. Bless you, sir. Smack that raccoon. Out of context. Okay. That sounds weird. But to be fair, a lot of things that YouTubers say out of context sound weird. Does it go that way? I'm not used to swinging down, though. So... No, 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 no. Just taking a moment to stretch. All right, birds. He's okay. Nope, 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 nope. That's a raw bird. I don't want to deal with it. You're not ready yet. Sorry, that joke kind of bombed, didn't it? <laughs> Yeehaw. All right, here we go, here we go. Yeep. We're good. We're fine. Hallelujah. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah, we're good, we're fine. This is great, this is great, this is awesome. Gimme that thing. Oh no, I deserve that. <laughs> I deserve that. And there's spiders up there. Great. Let's see how this goes. Hey now, whoa, whoa, whoa. You wanna play? You wanna play? You wanna play? Hallelujah. Why did that not work? We're just gonna, we're just gonna. There, that one worked. Spider's not invincible. I'm not getting that one. I'll just take it, just take my time. Oh, there's something else over there. Where does that go? That goes up somewhere. Whereas if I get off here, I don't think I can get off there. Now, without some very good timing, and I need to be on the right platform. Yeah, I need to be on the right platform. But that is situational. Oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a mistake. And somehow got out of it just fine. Okay, uh, that happened. <laughs> Which tells me I can just, yeah. All right, Bruin hat again. Bruin hat again. This game does not like it when I try to change hats. I don't know why. Get out of here. I needed to dive at him from the air. I completely forgot about that. I should know better. Yeah, I just I just tried the sequence break. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I'm not a speed runner, except a Pipman, I guess. How big is this friggin' windmill? We're near the top, that's fine. Doodles, and doodles, and do, dee, da, 
Do. Yo, here we are in an area that reminds me of Jack 2. I'm sorry. This may be getting annoying for a lot of people. I'm fully aware of that. I promise. And yet I can't stop because it's kind of just become its own thing now. Oh boy. I made it. No, I don't know how, but I did. All right, how dangerous is it gonna be to get over there and collect this thing? Man, how crazy. There's goat men here, but they're not really all that dangerous unless you walk right in front of them. So I'm not really stealing time pieces from anybody at this point, I guess, am I? At this point, who's the final boss going to be? Because they're always like, hey, I want the timepiece, you can't take him, and now I'm going to beat you up. But whenever I do get a timepiece, this weird stuff happens, and then we make the goat sneeze. Which I guess makes them angry. Do they even have a voice? That's not me being insulting, by the way. I'm just like, do, do they... Can I speak? Have you seen the purple pie? Ooh. Keep your distance. Yeah, they are very weird. Didn't mean to rush through that, I'm just very excited. Oh, and I just realized this has actually been a long episode already. I should probably call it quits. It's the it's last two. Well, shoot. Do I just go ahead and buy all the badges? No. I just remembered. I sometimes have to purchase levels to unlock them, and also the Mafia boss. Um, I'm suddenly confused. So the episode's over. I'm not going to go to the next area. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm mm, stammering is what I'm doing. <laughs> um, so bear with me. There's not going to be any more gameplay. I'm just going to bring this up right now because I feel like I need to. There are some levels that you have to unlock by buying them, right? We've seen that in a few of the worlds. I think it was one and two you had to unlock different levels with... No, I should say worlds one and two. You had to unlock levels by buying them and they weren't cheap. They did cost a fair bit, they weren't expensive, but they definitely weren't cheap. And then there's level three where you have to sort of go out of your way to find the next level that you're going to be playing. And then there's this place, which is sort of just one world, one level, that you go to different parts and to get what you need, and then you just go right back to the hub. I haven't had to buy any levels in a while. Not in the last world, not in this world. So what's been the point of buying levels unlocked? There was... That time rift that I couldn't get to in the third world, is that something I have to purchase to unlock after I complete a very particular relic? It, it's making me wonder, like, is this keeping things creatively interesting so it doesn't get stale as you play through the game further? Or is that not good game design, not bad game design at all? But is that considered not good game design that the game has you trained a certain way to unlock very particular levels and then you do something else and now you don't have to worry about unlocking the levels in that particular way after you've been playing more levels and collecting more money or is that something that you go to other worlds and collect more money and then you go back to the worlds previously now that you have enough money to unlock them to play arguably less difficult levels I'm not sure if I'm fully explaining it the right way. I think I am, but this, this could be an interesting discussion. I'd like to hear any thoughts that people might have about it. Again, I don't think this is bad game design. Keeping things interesting, and I'm obviously loving this world, and I love the last one too, but I just can't help but wonder, what kind of game design is this? Good, bad, in the middle? Maybe something completely different? Like you've got the spectrum of good to bad and that's supposed to be a straight line but this just kind of feels like it's veering off in a completely different path and it's weird and new and interesting and I kind of like it but it's so different is the fact that it's different the part that I don't like about it is it just making me uncomfortable because it's something new or is this just 
creative and fun and we should just go with it and this entire discussion is pointless which I'm definitely going to do I'm if this is fun I'm gonna keep playing I'm enjoying it so far but are we gonna go back to unlocking levels at some point what are the next worlds gonna be like and then we unlock the death wish levels by completing contracts to unlock more stuff so I don't know where is this game going it's just a fun cute as heck platformer that goes off in random ways and you're not quite sure what you're going to get from the next place and I'm realizing that this is probably stuff I should save for talking about at the credits but it's very prominent right now and I had to bring it up so yeah just food for thought if you don't have any feedback on it then yeah sure that's fine just don't have any feedback it's something to think about are there other games that do this too I'd like to know about those no spoilers about them in particular but like I'd like to hear about them if there are others that do things so different. It's very fun and I like it and I want to see where it goes next, which we will do in the next episode. Thanks for joining me, everybody, and listening to the extent of this rant. I'll see you next episode when we go off somewhere else, probably into those magma areas because that's where I almost went. Yeah, we'll do that next time. See you then, everyone, and uh, take care.